the Washington football team. That is the new name of the NFL team up in Washington, D.C., but why could the former Washington Redskins be making a huge mistake? Let's discuss. About a month ago, Washington owner Dan Snyder announced that he was going to be launching a full inquiry into the Washington Redskins name, a name that has been protested by various groups, various people for over two decades at this point. And a couple weeks ago, the team announced that they would be changing that name. So various fan polls went up and discussion started about what the name could be changed to. Today we got our answer, the Washington football team. That's what it's called. Now this video is not about whether or not they should have changed the Redskins name, whether or not that was offensive. This video isn't about any of that, okay? That's not what I want to discuss. What I want to discuss is why the Redskins could be making a huge mistake. This is a meme, obviously, and this is getting trashed online, and with good reason, this is a stupid name. But why, long term, could they be making a big mistake? Let's discuss it. So first we need to talk about exactly what is going to happen here with Washington. So when they announced that they were gonna get rid of the Redskins name, there was all kinds of debate about what they would change to when we landed on the football team. Now Washington says that they will be entirely rid of their team name, the Redskins, and their logo, the Native American head logo, within the next 50 days, that's what they say. So, and then the reports from various sources say that this is the name that they will be using for the rest of the season. For the entirety of the 2020-2021 football season, the Washington former Redskins will now go by the Washington football team. Uh, I just want to point out right now that I feel really bad for, uh, for whoever the radio guys are. For, uh, for the Redskins, whoever does the radio play-by-play, -play, because in radio, you are constantly saying the team name, and you rely on your ability to say the team name a bunch of different ways, and so you can say the city, you can say the, uh, the, the nickname, you can say anything else, and now you get nothing. Now you get Washington, because I don't think anyone on the radio is going to be screaming about how, you know, number 20 from the football team <laughs> is running down the field. Uh, so I do feel bad for them. Um, let's talk about the what, what the fans said, because I'm going to circle back to why it's a really bad decision. Let's talk about the fan polls right now. So uh, what you're seeing right now is an NBC poll talking about uh, what the fans think that the name should have been changed to. Now, the team name at the top here is Red Tails, which I believe is... A reference to the Tuskegee Airmen from World War II, which, if you don't know anything about the Tuskegee Airmen, uh, that's a group of heroes right there who fought in World War II, despite the fact that they were fighting for a country that didn't believe in full rights for black people at that time. Um, so that th those are heroic men who did that. So if you want to call them the Red Tails, that's totally fine, 28%. Uh, second up was the name I would have voted for personally, uh, which is the Washington Warriors. That's a good one, a little generic, but a good one still. So that's all well and good. Now, why didn't they go with either one of these two? My guess, my best guess is because there was dispute over it. Maybe they uh, were worried that there would be some backlash. I mean, I really don't know because you're printing new jerseys, you're printing new t-shirts and new helmets and everything uh, for the football team anyway. So I, I really don't know why the delay was here. But... The point is, is that changing the Redskin name at, at all was already kind of a dicey subject for most people. I mean, there, there are many, many polls uh, that polled Native Americans about whether or not the name was actually offensive. And I'm sure everyone's seen the Washington Post 2016 poll that said 90% of Native Americans were not offended by the Redskin name. Um, that poll has been in dispute for a long time. There's other polls that, uh, that say differently. Um, and, you know, I'm not going to get into whether or not it was offensive to Native Americans because I'm not of a Native, I'm not a Native American, so I don't know. 
But what I do want to get into is fan polls uh, nationwide that, you know, you look at generally speaking, there is 60 to 80 percent of fans were in favor of keeping the name, including a 2016 NFL fan poll. Right. So these are active football fans, many of them, I assume Redskins fans, where you had 64 percent of fans that that are saying to to keep the name. And then you go to this morning consult poll, which is much more recent, July 7th through 9th of 2020. You have only 29 percent of adults that are in favor of changing the name. So you have a plurality of people, 49 percent that are in favor of keeping the name, a near majority. And then you can look at, you know, all of the breakdowns and demographics here that I'm showing you. The point here is that changing the name was a dicey subject. And this is important not to say that certain fans were right or wrong for wanting to change the name, because again, I'm not going to make that judgment. The only thing I'm going to say is that when it comes to a sports team, your whole goal as a team is to win fan support, right? As a professional team, that's your goal. Even as a college team, your goal is to win fan support because you talk about home field advantage will help you win games. We know that to be true in every sport, that if your fans are loud, if your fans show up and you have the advantage at home, you are more, more likely to win games uh, than if you are away. We know that to be true. So in, in professional, it's even more important because that's your main, that's how you drive your money by people tuning in to watch you on TV, by people coming to your games to watch you uh, play live. The, the point of changing this is that you are potentially alienating a lot of fans by not giving them a name to latch on to. We know that a majority of Redskins fans did not want the name to be changed. And a lot of them felt like that's the team I grew up with. That's why I don't want it to be changed. So the, the, the least you could have done is give them a name that they can now be proud of, right? So you, you say, okay, we're not going to be the Redskins anymore, but now you can support the Washington Red Hawks, let's say, because that was leading in the fan poll. So if they said, we are the Washington Red Hawks now, that's the team, or Red Tail, sorry, uh, that's the team that you can put on your hats. That's the team that you can put on your shirts and your jerseys. That's the team that you can rep around the city. You would have at least told the fans, look, we care about you. We know that you want a team that you can outwardly publicly support like that. What you're doing by calling yourself the football team, no fan is going to put on the football team shirt. I mean, you're not going to take pride in that, you know, and this isn't really even about if the Redskins or the football team starts winning, right? That's not really what it's about. Because any fan will support anybody if a team starts winning. I mean, a team could literally be called the Washington, all of our fans suck. And if they go 16-0, they're still going to sell out and, and they're going to sell a bunch of tickets and they're going to win uh, and, and they're going to get a bunch of fan support. The point is, is that when you go 4-12, you need your fans there. When the, when the Green Bay Packers sucked... The fans in the middle of January still showed up to Lambeau Field to support that team. And that's what's important. That's what keeps you alive as a team. Because if you look at the discussions of relocating franchises in any sport, NFL included, over the past few years, you're looking at, you know, teams like the Jacksonville Jaguars, not strong fan support. You look at you know, a team like the San Diego Chargers, not strong fan support. Teams that, that have relocated, it's because the fans stopped supporting them. And no coincidence here, both of those teams were not very good when they relocated, when all this discussion started. The Redskins have not been very good over the last 20 years. But at the very least, if you're not very good, you could at least have a passionate fan base. Look at the Kansas City Chiefs. I mean, they were bad for a number of years before they finally turned things around, but always had a passionate fan base. The Seattle Seahawks, the Denver Broncos, passionate fan bases at these places. And so even when they're bad, you know that the fans are going to turn up and watch football games. And I'm not saying a team name has everything to do with that, but that is that is your emblem. That's what fans take pride in, is the name. I am a Broncos fan. I'm not, that's just, that's just an example, right? I am a Broncos fan. I am a Seahawks fan. You wouldn't say I'm a Denver fan. 
because that's the name of a city. And even then, if you said, I'm a Washington fan, there's, our, there's another team in Washington State, right? The Seattle Seahawks. So what does that mean? There's two states. There's one state and then the District of Columbia that's called Washington. So what do you take pride in when you say, I am a Washington fan? You can't say, I'm a football team fan. And if, the, and if the Washington football team is bad this year, you've already annoyed fans by changing a name that the majority of them didn't want changed, which again, I'm not saying was wrong. I'm just pointing out the data. The majority of fans did not want that name changed. So you've already done that. You haven't given them a name to, to fall back on, to take pride in uh, as a secondary thing. And now after, <laughs> after all that, if you're bad, really what do fans have to take pride in, in your team, right? I mean, and, and this comes on the same day that the new Seattle hockey team, right? Hockey in Seattle, okay? That team is getting, is getting absolutely praised all over social media because they've gone with the Seattle Krakens, right? And... They are already leaning into that name. They are already giving fans a reason to take pride in that name, even though that's an expansion franchise. They may not be good for a decade plus. I mean, in hockey, you never really know because you look at the Golden Knights, but, but it's very possible that they're not good for 10 years. But fans are going to take pride in that team, and the name is a huge part of it. That is the, that is the first thing that you know about a team is the name of that team. And so on one side, you have the Seattle Kraken, and on the other side, you have the Washington football team. I think long term, if the Redskins, if the football team, sorry, is not, if they're not good this year, they could be looking at an absolute crisis of fan support. I really do. I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong. But in my opinion, they could be looking at a crisis of fan support where you have fans that have no reason to take pride in, the, in that team for their performance on the field, for what they're called, or now for even their history. Because the history that you grew up with of all of the great players on that team and all of the, all of the great things that that team has done, you know, the first black quarterback to win a Super Bowl, that was a Redskins quarterback. Of all the great things that they did, that history is now not a part of the team that you are supporting anymore. So I think that fans, especially older fans, could absolutely get turned off from this franchise because they didn't, they changed the name and they didn't give you one to support instead. You're just supporting the football team. You're not supporting a logo because on their helmets, there isn't going to be a logo. It's just their number. You're not supporting a logo. You're not supporting a name. You're not supporting anything. You're just supporting the concept of a football team. I think it's a mistake from Washington's perspective to not have a name ready to go. Knowing that this has been a controversy for so long, knowing that there is there are fan polls out and knowing that there is these two names, Red Tails and the Warriors, that really have captured people's attention. To not do that at all and go with football team, it's a mistake. And I hope I'm wrong. I, I don't wish for that team to be relocated. I don't wish for that team to turn into the Jacksonville Jaguars where they're blacking out games on their local stations. You know, I don't want that to happen. Um, but I'm afraid that the Redskins, the football team, they're taking a big risk now. And if they don't win this season, I, I don't think it's going to turn out very well for them going forward in terms of fan support. Just had to cut in here to make one more point that I thought of literally as I was finishing editing this video. Because I was going back and, and watching to make the edits and I realized how many times that I said Redskins talking about the current team, not just about historically. That is a point that I didn't bring up, but I think it's really important. I said Redskins because I'm not going to call them the football team. And as sports fans, we're so used to using the team's name, their their nickname as what we call them as opposed to where they're from. And that crosses, you know, basically every sports divide, uh, even when you get into Europe where they don't even technically have nicknames. Uh, you still call them that way. So 
by actually not giving the team a nickname. Not only are you kind of disrespecting the fans and the players by not giving them something to rally around, but you are undercutting your own purpose of changing what they say is an offensive name by people will constantly still call you the Redskins because they have nothing else to call you. They're not gonna call you Washington. So I guarantee you that broadcasters are gonna slip up, reporters are gonna slip up, and fans are gonna slip up all the time and call this team the Redskins because there wasn't another name to call them. You don't call, you can't call them the Red Tails, you can't call them the Warriors, whatever other name they could have had, you can't call them that, that now. They are the Redskins still because you haven't replaced that with anything. We'll see. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of disagreement out there, so if there is, let me know. Let's let's have a discussion in the comments, because this is just one man's opinion, and I could very well be wrong. So please let me know uh, in the comments if you have any other opinion on this. Let's talk about it. I'm always open to changing my mind and getting new perspectives. And, uh, you know, if you've been on this channel before, you know that we always have great discussions. So, uh, I really appreciate it if you're down in the comments, or if you just give us a like, give us a subscribe. We appreciate that, too.